Whoa. Oh my god. Little 380, got the Keller US seal numbers right there. Y'all yeah, call us if you find anything else crazy. Yes sir, will do. <laughs> You too. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. As you can see behind me, there's a super old house that was once here during the Civil War back in the 1860s. And then we've also got a bridge right behind me here that was built in the 1980s. Now the bridge behind me, so there's two bridges. There's a bridge behind me that was built in 1920. So there's just a whole lot of history in this particular river. I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to find criminal evidence, pick up trash like we always do, and hopefully explore these bridges to see what potential trash or anything else we could possibly find. And if you guys are enjoying these scuba diving videos, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe if you're new. We've done really well on the website recently and you guys are killing it on there. If you wanna use code DOH10, you'll get 10% off your first order and I really am excited about that for you guys and I appreciate every single one of you. So I'm not really sure if I got a clear spot, but right there is the boat ramp and as you can see, there's a super old bridge over here from the 1920s. There's the railroad track over there for the bridge and that railroad actually goes over the same stretch of river and we're gonna eventually check that out as well. Now the bridge behind me is not used by cars anymore. It's actually just a foot traffic bridge, which leads me to believe that we could possibly find things that people wanted thrown off. Huh? What? I think he was saying don't drop your stuff. I'm not sure what he was saying, but he gave me a thumbs up, so I think he watches the videos. So that would be pretty cool. But anyways, let me go over the gear and the friends I'm gonna be diving with. So today I've got my scuba tank, which is gonna allow me to stay underwater for an hour and 30 minutes, if not more. And I've also got my pouch attached to it so I can pick up all the trash and basically anything else that I find. I've also got my GoPro so that I'm gonna be able to film all the underwater adventures for you guys. And I've got my light today so that it can direct me for anything that I can't see underneath the water. Jeremy forgot his today. Must be nice. Jeremy, why are you cuddling my scuba tank? That is so uncalled for. It's good luck. It's, it's, the, it's the nug rub off. <laughs> I came out wrong. <laughs> Jeremy, what do you think we're gonna find today? Oh man, I love new spots. I have no idea. We could find an arsenal of weapons. We could find piles of history. We could find absolutely nothing like we had before when we came here. But you know, I think it's gonna be fun. It's a great day to get wet, so who cares if we find something or not. I think it'd be a fun video. Awesome, man. All right, so I got Jeremy right there. I've got this bridge and I've got this bridge. This whole property is super old, so hopefully we'll be able to find something in the water, but we're gonna get down there and hopefully find something good. Is that like a thousand dollar bottle? I don't know if it's that much, but it's definitely like one of the rarest bottles in the Really? Yeah. Like these are the bottles that bottle like the Oh my god. Alright, so I don't know how big you guys are with bottles, but this is a super old 1850s bottle. I can't believe it, dude. Indian rain. 
So we've made it to the second spot. As you can see behind me, there's a bunch of rushing water and we're gonna be going out this way, particularly looking for old bottles and basically any other um, artifacts that we can come across. Now I know you guys are wondering, are you in that spot where the National Park Service lady told you not to go? No, I'm not. I'm completely out of that state. So we're gonna be searching this area to see what we can find. We'll also pick up trash along the way as well, but. I'm really looking forward to getting in the water. Hopefully we'll find something cool. And as you guys can see, I did forget my gloves, so I'm gonna be very careful, but we've already got a piece of trash and we've got a phone right here. It looks like some sort of broken Android phone of some type. Look at that, that is a super old piece of window glass. You can see the old railroad bridge over there and uh, there's actually two railroad bridges. There's this one that which is newer and then that one over there which was built during the Civil War and we're gonna go check that out as well. All right, so Jeremy has a great find. I did and I have no idea the, what the thing is. I'm so excited I wanna get back in the water but there it is in a nutshell. <laughs> so he thinks he might be able to get some serial numbers off this. Maybe, which, I think it's, I don't know if it's modern or not but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a super old gun barrel so you guys can see, I mean, this is, it's been in there for a while but you can see the bare metal on it and I'm sure you can get a serial number off of it, possibly. Check that thing out. It's like some sort of wrench or tool of something. Not really sure. That's pretty cool though. Someone broke a golf ball in half. <laughs> Check that out you guys. Right there, it's got a little wrench of some type. It's super old and rusted up. Actually has snails on it too. You can see the old pillar right here and right here. This, this is actually the bridge that was burned down during the Civil War. So there's no telling what we can get here. Check out this huge spring I just found. Oh my gosh, I don't know if that goes off of a car or what. You guys tell me down in the comments below, but that is wild. I'm gonna put this stuff on the bank real quick. Jeremy, I did it. He, think, he thinks I'm faking it. I wasn't even under the water. That's what makes this so funny. I was getting out Walking back over to the bank, I was just gonna sit there for a little bit and check this out, you guys. I don't know, can you guys see that down there? Let's put you guys under the water and see if you guys can see it. And never have I found a gun. This, well, no, except for the canals. I found them in shallow water, but I mean, this is just ridiculous. Let's go under and we're gonna grab this thing. Damn, oh dude. my god. Little 380, got the, got the serial numbers right there. That is so cool. It's got the serial numbers on it right there. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous, man. A 380 pistol. Find all the good stuff and then want me to <laughs> film for you? It's crap. <laughs> so guys, I just came across this 380 pistol. It does have serial numbers on it. We are going to give this to the police and they're gonna be able to process it for evidence or potentially find out if it's stolen or not. Um, Jeremy did not believe me at all when I just told him about this. I still don't believe and, it, I think uh, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a crazy find, man. I can't believe it. My first gun in Tennessee, so that's a great way to start it off. <laughs> uh. So let me just say that I cannot let Britain go taking guns off the bridges without me finding something cool. So this is what I just found right where he found that gun. Man. Now, it's probably empty, but it could be filled with all kinds of jewelry like before. Yeah. We just don't know. Let's crack it open. We will, but they gotta wait till the end of the video. Hi there, my name is uh, Britton Lockhart and my buddies and I, we were scuba diving in a river right off of uh, 
road. It's the it's the bridge that crosses over that river. Um, and while we were scuba diving, we came across a pistol, and it does have serial numbers on it. And I, I just wanted to call you guys and see if that's something I could turn in. Did you pick it up? Yes, yes, ma'am. Are you still in that area? Or I'm still. I'm right, I'm right next to the bridge, so okay. I can wait for an officer to get out here. Yeah, make sure everything's okay. Okay, thank you. How's it going, officer? Hey, me and my buddies, we were scuba diving in the river. We just pick up trash, and it's what we do on YouTube. But we found a pistol, and we wanted to turn it into you guys. Yeah, where's so it at? It's actually right here. You all out treasure hunting? Yes, sir. Anything else good? I found a, a couple of cans. I got a iPhone right here, a couple golf balls and stuff. But nice. other than that, just the... Looking like it's been there for a minute. Oh, yeah. You'll give me some gloves real quick. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Is this a high crime area? Um, or is it? I wouldn't say so. I mean, if you go this way, the yeah. more it gets like that. So Definitely. It, there's potentially could be related to something. Awesome. Well, hopefully it helps you, helps you guys out for yeah, sure. Yeah. Comes up. I appreciate awesome. y'all calling us. Yes, sir. Yeah, Thank you so much. No problem. What was the name of your YouTube channel again? It's called Depths of History. I'll write that down. I'm going to check you out. Awesome, man. Don't you have a friend <laughs> that has a YouTube channel, too? I don't know who I do. Oh, Jeremy, it's right weird. there. It's weird. His name's Explore. His name's Jeremy. He's got a channel <laughs> called Exploring with Nug. Exploring with Nug. Check that out, too. Awesome, man. And he was walking across the creek, and all of a sudden he eyeballed it. Mm. Cool. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Awesome, man. Yeah, y'all call us if you find anything else crazy. Yes, sir. We'll do. <laughs> so the officer is taking a look at the firearm right now. He's taking it in for uh, investigation. I think he's going to pass it off for evidence. But they're very happy that we were able to give that to them. And I know they're going to be able to use that for their investigation. So that's great. Appreciate you, sir. Yeah, y'all take it easy. You as well. All right, everybody, so I had a pretty good day of treasure hunting. Other than that gun, this is what I came across. I threw away a lot of the trash, but I've got a can right there. I got a bunch of golf balls, an iPhone 5C. So this is my find of the day. It is a Hutchinson's bottle, and I really need to check out what particular type this one is. Royal Blossom Bottling Company, and it has a big R on the bottom. So if you guys have any ideas on this bottle, let me know down in the comments below. It does have a stopper on it which is pretty cool. All right, everybody, so that is going to wrap up another brand new video of Depths of History. Today was a great day. We were able to find not only Civil War artifacts and also some older bottles, but I was able to come across that pistol, turn it into the police. It's always great when we're able to do that. If you enjoyed the scuba diving video, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Also press that bell notification. It'll keep you updated on every single new video that I post. Also check out my buddy Jeremy. I'm gonna have his channel linked in the description below. He had a fun, amazing adventure today, and you guys can see what he found in that locked box over on his channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Good luck, and we'll see you guys on the next one.